Welcome Transformer fans, my name is Composite Energo and today I'll be bringing you my review of the Transformers Cybertron Scout Class Backstop. And here he is in his uh, pretty cool looking beast mode, which is um, obviously a rhino. Yeah, it's a nice neat little rhino mode, which is very well done and pretty, if I remember correctly, yeah, this is actually fairly screen accurate. Which, you knowing me, it's always a plus. But, yeah. And I'm going to say right now, out of his two modes, this is the better mode. This genuinely is. Backstop is honestly worth getting. And his many repaints as well are worth getting, in my opinion. Just for this Rhino mode, because it's a very nicely done little sort of uh, mechanical Rhino mode. Mechanical Rhino. Yeah, very nice. Um, Articulation-wise, and this surprised me is that he has ball joints on each leg, he has them, but not only that, he has knees on each and every leg. He has hinge there, hinge there, hinge there, and a hinge there. That surprised me. Honestly, because from the pictures, I thought he wouldn't have knees. They honestly, I think, because how, how you see it from here, it doesn't look like that his actual knees would bend, but they do. And his head can move a little bit. And tail has its own little hinge, but that's more for transformation. So yeah, it's a nice little rhino mode. And yeah, if you look it down a little bit, you can see his robot mode hand, which is kind of a bummer. But honestly, I feel that the rest of it holds out, it holds up well enough that 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 little wrinkle is well just a wrinkle. Um, oh, for his uh, Cyber Planet key, I have his jungle one, which I now finally have a jungle key. Uh, to activate it, you put it in the slot on top of his head, and doing this unleashes his mighty horn blade thing. And just uh, pop it back out. And yeah, this is, I, I, I personally think this is actually really cool. Little horn thing, and you just pop it back in. And that's pretty much it for his uh, beast mode. And so now let's get on with his transformation, which if you've seen the show, it's the same transformation and it's pretty simple. First thing you do is that you fold up the tail, then you pull out this piece for the arm and fold it and rotate it. Then you uh, take this pieces, bring them down and connect them together. There's like pegs on each leg, peg and ports. Make sure you just connect them together. Do this and then while I, while doing this, you also pull out this entire. You can pull out this little uh, piece down. It pulls out when you pull down the legs. Connect them like so. Then you fold out. If you hadn't done it already, you fold down his uh, right hand. Fold this down. It's a bit stiff on mine. Fold it down. Then you have his uh, other hand. And then for the head review, just put your finger in here, and boom! You have his, uh, pretty show accurate. I think it's missing some, um, some sort of decal on it, like, a, I think another skin tone or something. I don't remember his face being all red in the show. But yeah, it is a very accurate, uh, head sculpt, and, yeah, that's it. This is, uh, Backstop's robot mode. And, yeah, it's not a great robot mode. It's... Okay, uh, to me the Rhino mode is much better, and the transformation is really, really interesting. I don't think I've, I don't remember. I don't often see uh, figures that do this whole combine the legs together like that. Um, the only thing that it's missing that I wish it did would be that you just rotate these forward, so that the actual toes would be facing forward. Like they could have added just a little hinge here to make that work. Or rotate something. That's like the only thing genuinely missing. Well, genuinely that bothers me on this figure is that his legs, his rhino toes are just pointing that way. So when he's walking around, they're just pointing that way. It looks really weird. It's really messing with my OCD. It's very weird. But, um, yeah, other than that, it's a nice, solid little figure. Articulation uh, wise, the head doesn't move. Um, this arm can go 360. So does this one, this hand can go in and out a little bit, and this one can go in, and go that far back, that far forward, and hinge there. And if you really want to, this could be like a little claw he can pop out, but it's not supposed to do that. That's just for uh, 
transformation. And the legs, as you saw, can go forward and back that far. And you can kind of wiggle them a little bit due to the uh, ball joints in his knees. And his legs can just uh, do this. Like, like, it really bugs me that you can't rotate these forward to, to actually give him knees. Because he technically has knees, but in, like, the other direction. He has sideways knees. Or ankles or something. Well, wait a minute. That technically means he has uh, ankle pivots that you can't use. So, he, he technically has ankle pivots. But, yeah, th this to me is the biggest problem here that you can't rotate these forward. But other than that, it's a nice little figure. It's a nice, solid uh, little figure. And yeah, and for his uh, cyber key power, it's the same thing. Pop it up, and there is his uh, mighty horn blade. Only this time you can kind of have it up and just have him swing around. Or do a very mean shoulder tackle. And that's very much it. Overall, it's a nice, solid, simple little figure. I can kind of see like what, like a younger Transformer fan uh, be, uh, getting this and just being really happy with it. I think this is a nice little, uh, this is a very nice beginner Transformer. With a neat little beast mode, simple transformation, and just a nice solid figure. Uh, so now for uh, size comparisons, here we have Ratchet, and he is considerably taller. And then we have a uh, Cliff Jumper, who is um not that much shorter, shorter than the Scout class figure. As you can see, yeah. let's put these guys back. That's uh, size comparisons. Because uh, Scout class figures, um, they don't do that size anymore. Um, even even now, they haven't. They, they used to call it Legends class, but even that, which is still a little bit smaller than this, but they haven't done that in a couple in a couple of um, in the last couple toy lines, they haven't used Legends classes. Uh, but yeah, so backstop is overall pretty good. It's a nice, solid little figure. I feel that he's kind of underrated. Um, I do know he was repainted a couple more times. I think keeping the backstop name and then t picking up a couple other names. Um, I f do not remember what the other names were, but I do know that he was repainted a couple times, a couple more times as backstop. And yeah, so that's it. This has been my review of the Transformers Cybertron Scout Class Backstop. This is Composite Energy. Signing off. Peace out.